Deep within the Jericho Reach on the planet Belisar, Rabu Gilliman has been searching for an ancient relic that could boost his Primaris Ultramarine army even further and he's using his top squad of Hellblasters for extra security on this private mission. Meanwhile, an elite custodies team following top orders from the Inquisition is planning to take the objective for themselves so no heretic can ever obtain it. Who will be victorious during this epic Warhammer 40,000 battle report? Watch and find out. Hey everybody, my name is Josiah, and today I'm going to be playing Ultramarines. Uh, I have uh, Rubut Gilliman as my warlord. In addition to him, I also have a chaplain, a librarian, an intercessor squad, and then a ten-man squad of Hellblasters, which I'm going to use to blow off his troops with. Hey guys, it's David. I got a Talons of the Emperor Patrol, which means I get to squeeze in two squads of Sisters Witch Seekers, of Flamers, the new ones, uh, led by a Captain Commander on bike, uh, the patrol, sword and board dudes, new shields, and of course the big old squad of five bikes. We're gonna run over some uh, Primaris Marines and so who's the better superhuman. A key objective has been triangulated to this position, but its exact location still remains unclear. You must find and secure it whilst preventing the enemy from doing the same. The mission is simple. The players roll off, starting with the winner. Each player alternates placing objective markers numbered one through six until six have been set up. Each objective marker must be more than 6 inches away from the edge of the battlefield and more than 12 inches away from any other objective marker. At the start of each battle round after the first, randomly select one objective marker on the battlefield by rolling 1d6. Remove that objective marker from the battlefield. If the d6 roll does not correspond to an objective marker on the battlefield, keep rolling until it does. Each player scores one victory point for each objective marker they control at the end of their turn. The player with the most victory points at the end of the battle is the winner. This is the deployment zone the players will be using. As we're using the open war deck to create the mission, the unique twist for this game is the inimical atmosphere. Units cannot advance, and you can only declare units within 7 inches of a charging unit as the target of its charge. While the players are setting up, do you want a chance to be selected to receive a start collecting box of your choice? If so, consider joining the Knights at the Game Table mailing list via the link below. We pick one random person from the list every month and send them a start collecting box of their choice, like last month's winner, Aaron Sarbri, who chose this Nurgle Demon start collecting box. Alright, so I'm going to start off by uh, spending two command points, going down to five, uh, to give these guys uh, plus one to wound. Um, and uh, he is going to give uh, the Hellblaster squad... Actually, no, he's not Tigerius. Uh -huh. He's not Tigerius. He's <laughs> just a, a, a fat librarian. <laughs> yep. Uh, so doing my movement. And those are the assault intercess uh, plasma, right? That's correct. These are the assault uh, intercessor or pl hell blasters. All right. Uh, going to my psychic phase, uh, my librarian is going to attempt to cast uh, null zone. That takes away from Gilliman's null zone. Uh, involved. Uh, yeah, I, I fail. Okay. I have no AP, so <laughs> it's not really a big deal. But um, and then. He is going to he's going to enhance these guys by making them stronger, faster, harder. Uh, give them uh, plus one strength, attack, and um, one toughness. model. Is it just one model? It's just the one model. Oh, okay. I thought it was everybody in the everybody in the unit. Um, all right. In that case, I will just give this sergeant that ability. I look for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's just the one model. Um, and that passes on a six. Going to shooting, all of these hell blasters are going to fire at your bike squad, and then they will overcharge. Yep, that's model. All right, so you're gonna target this unit? Yes. I'm gonna spend two CP. I actually have four CP for some reason. No. What did I spend CP? Yeah, yeah I have four CP. I'm gonna spend two CP for Emperor's Auspice, so you get no reroll. All right. Well, that's no good. All right. So then, uh, one at a time. They're all overcharged with no rerolls. A guy dies. This one of mine. <laughs> so, uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's five so far. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
nine. Ten. Alright, no rerolls, so that was that was pretty good. And then these are strength seven, so wounding on twos, rerolling ones. But no, I don't get to reroll the wounds either. You, uh, you do not get to reroll the wounds. It's all no right. rerolls. So let's so, see if the bikes can take it. Wounding on twos. Looks like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. And you killed four Marines right there. That was pretty good. Well, you didn't have to stay in overcharge. Yeah. Uh, but then you probably. Totally worth it. All right, 20 saves, 24 up thimbles. One, uh, they're two damage each. Two, three, four, five. Heal, this is squad. All right, um, these guys right here uh, don't actually have a target. Uh, so that is actually my turn. Wow. Um, yep. Uh, they lost three, their leadership eight. They're fine. Uh, they're actually lost nine. four. Uh, yeah, I'm leadership nine. So, they're all good. Alright, so his ability, Sally Forth, I can choose a unit himself to get plus one to his move. So he's going to move 15 inches. Okay. I'm go like that. Actually, I want to just go this way. Yeah, I'll go that way. I have to be within seven. I'll declare. Okay. We're gonna shoot the plasma dudes in front of me. Okay. We got 12 shots. We're hitting on twos. We're rolling ones. Still fell. And winning on fours. Winning on fours. Two saves. Uh, no, six saves. One fell. All right, you're within seven. I'm gonna do the charge. Uh, he gets to reroll charges for his bike though. But I would make it anyways. No, I would be out. So, reroll charges for his relic bike. Yep. Roll better. <laughs> we are gonna roll better. We're gonna roll, go all the way over here. Okay. Further than three inches. <laughs> it's six inches because of his ability. Okay. Come on in if you want to. Um, yeah, I, I actually, I will. Five, six, um, five. You're winning me on threes right now? I'm winning you on threes re-rollable. Right. You won't get a run drop until I fight. I, I, I know. Uh, I'm thinking about giving myself transhuman physiology. Um, makes it a little bit harder. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, is that one or two commitments? Uh, one, because there's only five left? There's six. Then it's two. Okay. Five attack, winning on twos, re-rolling ones. All of which hit. Yep. Winning on threes, but I'm... I can only reroll bells, so not the threes. Right. One's gonna fail. You got three saves, AP minus three. Uh, six plus, nope. And then, so I'll fail. First one. There should be four saves, so. Okay. One more. So you pass one. So uh, three plus to kill. Kills, three plus to kill. I will command point reroll that. Okay. Your fights. All right, uh, the chaplain. Uh, three, four attacks. Um, he's within 12, so reroll for the hit rolls of a one. Still a one. And strength six versus toughness six. Tough six. So fours, one wound. AP, one? Uh, yep. That's gonna be a fail. I've already rerolled. It's two so. damage. So I'll mark him down to five. All right. Uh, go to the beginning of the first turn. Uh, or the second turn. You can't fail, right? You only killed, lost three. You're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. So figure out which dice it disappears. Yep. Dice number three. That one right there. Okay, all right. All uh, going to my turn. Um, these guys will walk away. He will walk away. Um, I also get a, one point for this, for holding one. Oh, that was part of the mission? Yeah. 
It's at the end of the turn. So. Oh, okay, so we actually both held one. Yeah. So we both have one point. Yeah, I should have went here to get two. Yeah. Uh, psychic phase. Uh, he's going to smite. Okay. Uh, passes. For one. Six up. Nope. He will add plus one strength attack and toughness to him. On a six. Passes. Um, we'll start with uh, him firing there. With Gilliman firing at your captain. Yep. Uh, hitting on two is rerolling. Because it works on characters. And then these are strength five, so winning on fives, no rerolls. Uh, two wounds, AP minus two. Three up, and we'll pass one, failed one. Two damage. Two wounds remain. Um, we will go ahead and fire these guys at him as well. Um, uh, and this is tactical doctrine. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, we were on field of hits. Oh, that was a three. A three hit. And uh, wounding on fives, re-rolling uh, wound rolls of a one. So five wounds. AP one minus two, four. Oh, actually, AP minus five. two. Uh, three up and roll. You're still shooting here, right? Yep. Get that out of the way. Five, three ups. Uh, filling two. I will have to spin one to not die. Yep. Is that worth it, though? No, I'm going to let myself die. And I'm going to spend the two CP to shoot here. Okay. Three on twos. We're rolling ones. One of those missed. One in on fours. It's going to be six saves. Uh, one of those is a three. One of those is three. Well, five saves. Hold on. We rolling one. Six saves. Uh, fail one. Yeah, these aren't even my dice. All right. Um, that's the end of my turn. I hold two objectives, so I get two more points. My turn. I'm right. up to six inches. Outside of deployments on the course. Over there, within 12 of them. Okay, no problem. Your turn. Uh, uh, I guess I could flamer. shoot them. Yeah. We have five D6 flamer shots. Yep. We have a command point back. One in on fours. Yep. Seven saves. Two, four, six, seven. Fail one. Going for the charge. Yep. Seven inches and not going to make it. Reroll. Command point. Nope. I'm going to make it with the six. Uh, that's my turn. I got one, two points. Yep. So three Five, to three. Yep. Three to three. See what point goes away? Uh, point number one. That's that. I wanted that point. Want to learn how to paint your miniatures faster and still have them looking good? Or maybe you just want to learn how to get cheaper miniatures. Or perhaps learn a few tips and tricks to improve your gameplay. If so, consider downloading our Warhammer 40k guide to painting, playing, and more. Just click the link in the description of this video and you'll be able to grab your copy completely free of charge. In addition, we pick one random person who downloaded the guide and joined our mailing list every month and send them the Star Collecting Box of their choice. Just like last month's winner, Aaron Sarbright, who chose this Nurgle Demon Star Collecting Box. Alright, um... Going to shooting, um, we will have the Hellblasters fire at those girls. Okay. Uh, they are not oh, going to overcharge. Uh, you have two wounds, or one wound, right? One wound each, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Let's see what we got. Uh, we roll and fail the hit rolls. Oh, this is a miss as well. And choose to wound. We roll and fail the wound rolls of a one. So, oh. five? Yep. All right. Well, they got their point. Uh, over here, uh, they will rapid fire there. Um, am I within 12 inches? Nope. Uh, 
Uh, three wounds at AP minus two. Three, th uh, five ups, passing two, failing one. Uh, the one closest to him. All right. Uh, he will fire a bolt pistol. Hits. Uh, wounds. Fails. Um, going to charge. He's going to attempt to charge there. I'll spin the CP. Okay. Uh, just so you know, I have a two plus armor save. Okay. From being a cover? No, no, just from, um, I mean, yes, but uh, it's my armor. Uh, the Indominus armor. Ah, you usually want to tell someone for the game, but it won't matter in this case because at least I wouldn't shoot out of him with a two up. So, you're fine. Charge distance. Uh, fail. Uh, I'll spend a command point. We'll go to three. And still fail. <laughs> uh, your turn. Okay, so we're gonna do what? We're gonna move seven inches close to you. Um, and I got one more point. Two more points, sorry. Oh, yeah, two more points. It's one there. So you're at five. We'll move. It's not likely I can clear you off of that. So you do have a two up armor save, but I do have mortal wounds with a psych out grenade, yep. and the flamers will shoot into the squad. Excellent. All right, so it does hit. It draws grenade D3, so three. So I have two shots, looking for six pluses. Both of which miss. And the flame answer the squad. Well, doesn't it, that one of those hit, right? No. Oh, you just only hit on a six, there's not another five. Oh, five yeah, five. but it's AP nothing, it's not a big deal. So, a big, but here, four, six, seven. It's a squad, seven shots. Yep. Wounding on fours. Nothing. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we will charge into the squad. Okay. Seven inches. Yep. Staying outside of three from him. No problem. Four, five, six, seven. Missing once and possibly twice. And the ladies, all the way over here, the ladies. They are going to wound you on fives. Yeah, they are. Take four saves. All oh, right. Kill three. Kill two. You're still objective secured. Uh, just follow me in closer. Oh, me, me, me. I follow in. I consolidate it. Yep. I will start with the power fist. Uh, I got charged. So three attack space. Got charged. Uh, hitting on fours, wounding on twos. Uh, I'll spend a command point. Two wounds. Uh, box cars. Oh, you made one. I made one. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna spend a command point. Okay. Made two. Oh wow! Good job. <laughs> uh, I only get the one point though. Other attacks. Uh, four hits and one wound. Three up. Made that. All right, good job. You're fine, Morale. Um, you have it, you're up sick. Oh, you're not up sick? Nope, you're not troops. Okay. Uh, all right, going to my turn. All your stuff is on the board? Yeah, all my stuff's on the board. Because uh, those oh. don't get a lot. <laughs> all right, uh, rolling to see which one of these can, which one of these goes away. <laughs> all right, <laughs> five. <laughs> five is yep, that one. this one, yep. My objectives are disappearing from underneath me. Psychic phase, uh, I'll enhance my sergeant. Uh, cocked. Passes? Barely, because you're at a minus one. Um, and shooting, uh, they'll fire at those guys, whoever, however many of them are in range. All of them, all of them, okay. One, uh, overcharge. That is cocked. Cocked. And then my reroll. One, two, rerolls. Reroll for the one. These rerolls. All right. Uh, no overheats. And two, four, six, seven wounds. 
making my hand. I got a three of pimple. I mean, uh, enough to kill two. I'm gonna pull the two guys. You know what? Leave the cooler hair deep. We will uh, go to charges. The librarian will charge in. Uh, librarian's attacks. Uh, three base, right? Or does he have four base? I can't remember. Regular librarian. I think he has three base. Yeah, three, so four on the charge. And two's to wound. Because strength six. Two wounds, AP minus one. Two, four ups. All right, and your strength seven, actually. Plus two strength for the stack. Oh, right, yeah, they got a, they got a strength and boost. I mean, still two, but. <laughs> uh, you get to pick a combat. First one going, we're gonna go into the squad. Four, five, six, seven. Hitting on threes. These are not threes. Wounding on fives. The girls are butchers. Three saves. Uh, spell one. Yeah, no one's wounded, so. Uh, we'll go to the sergeant. Uh, he still has four attacks. Hitting on fours. And wounding on twos. I'll use command point. Uh, three six plus saves. Okay. Uh, no, because this is round four, right? Oh yeah, it has to be. Yep. So they're they're just be dead. Yep. All right. Uh, I score two more points. We got a seven. I score one more point. All right, and can we get me? Uh, roll. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh, these guys will move up. Uh, actually, I'll give them the order. Uh, the actually, I'll spend my last two command points so they get plus one to wound. All right, shooting plasma. Uh, overcharge. Off this. Emperor's Auspice, no rerolls. Okay. One guy dies a bunch. And uh, twos. Threes. Oh, you yeah. plus one and one from the pair. Yeah. Okay. So five. Five, three, four, uh, three up impulse. Failing two of them, but no rerolls. Okay. Uh, Custodius maybe should be afraid a little of Primaris. <laughs> there we go. Right, good game. Uh, that went pretty well. I got the first turn, uh, which is really powerful for um, my particular army build. Uh, it was a really fun game with David, and I appreciate the game. That went not at well at all. Um, it's bad enough with the whole go first win uh, tactic, and I just chose not to stay far enough back to have a chance. So that's on me. Uh, this particular mission type says you can't advance at all, uh, and my warlord trait allows me to advance and still lets me shoot, so that kind of limits that. So. What would you do differently next time? Uh, you know, steady with the same limitations, I think um, I could have started further back so that he would never be in range turn one because he couldn't advance himself and he's 24 inches. And with my 15 inch movement, which my warlord trait also gave me plus one to movement, I could definitely grab one if not two objectives uh the problem is he still had more bodies than me so if he gets anybody opsec and he had rights of war then he would uh easily be able to take it um probably play the blake not the blake guard the uh custodian guard themselves up front because uh, they have a three up invul custodians can still get that because it's uh four up invul for the shield now thunder uh, storm shields change and plus one is custodians detachment uh talons of the emperor with the sisters doesn't prevent that both these players share with us their top three tips in our membership area. You can learn a lot more about the official Knights of the Game Table membership by looking for a link in the description of this video. And leave a comment below to let us know which two factions you want to see go head-to-head -head most in our next battle report.